So what does a corporation really get out of a relationship, a partnership, a cause marketing opportunity with Peace One Day? Let's have a look in a little more detail at some actual examples of those corporations who decided to get involved with Peace One Day and the impact that that created for both sides. First up, let's look at Burger King's campaign for 2015. So, Burger King's proposing a Burger War ceasefire to join forces with McDonald's on Peace Day and create the McWhopper. That's a big burger with big ambitions. A fair amount to swallow, right? So here's a little how, where, and why to help you digest our proposal. As two of the world's largest brands, we're in the perfect position to influence change. And like BK, McDonald's is committed to leveraging its size, scope, and resources to help make the world a better place. Peace One Day campaigns tirelessly for a better world, but they need our help raising awareness of Peace Day. We could rattle a bucket, but buckets aren't loud. Proposals like McWhopper make noise. Just ask this guy. Hi, I'm Jeremy Gilley, founder of Peace One Day. The thing I love about the McWhopper project is it walks the walk. It leads by example and demonstrates a genuine commitment to Peace Day and a more peaceful and sustainable world. Corporate activation on this scale creates mass awareness and awareness creates action. And action saves lives. We hope you get on board, McDonald's. So do we, Jeremy. We can't do this without them. So we've made participation easy, one location, one day only. We've designed a proposed pop-up restaurant, the packaging, even the staff uniforms. All we have to do is park our differences for one day and do what we both do best. No strings. Together, let's blaze a trail, build the unthinkable burger, and feed the discussion. Let's end the beef with beef on Peace Day, September 21st, 2015. The Peace One Day Burger King McWhopper campaign had over seven billion impressions. It was the most successful single campaign they've ever run at a low cost of $250,000 paid to Peace One Day to join the corporate coalition at gold level. The top line numbers for Burger King are as follows. Awareness of Peace Day in the US went up by 40%. The campaign generated more than $144 million in earned media. Purchase consideration of Burger King's target demographic doubled during the campaign, and the purchase intent tripled. Now let's talk about Unilever and our work with Paul Polman, a huge supporter of Peace One Day and a leader in helping us establish further relationships from the corporate world. An example of this was the Unilever Axe Peace Campaign, Make Love, Not War. Make love, not war, with new Axe Peace. This campaign ran across five continents and included 50 countries. As a consequence, 600 million people became aware of Peace Day, with 425,000 people inspired to take action. I think in this age of transparency or age of behavior, increasingly you find uh, the millennials especially driven by a little bit of a deeper purpose than, um, than just making money or, or selling goods and services and they increasingly will look for companies that have a more responsible corporate behavior and I cannot think of anything better than investing in the pillars of society which is really what uh, Peace One Day is trying to do which then ultimately benefits the businesses as well. There are so many examples, but two more I'd like to highlight are Coca-Cola and Google. Coca-Cola have been partners with Peace One Day for the last 10 years. The level of trust and perceived brand affinity is so strong that over the years, Coca-Cola have put the Peace One Day logo on their cans. They've sponsored concerts, they've commissioned films, and they've branded merchandise. To give just one example of numbers, 
A Peace One Day Coke initiative took place in Mexico for Peace Day 2011. The press interest alone generated 193 notes with a commercial value of more than $13 million whilst reaching more than 192 million people. In 2015, Coca-Cola brought together a collection of leading African artists to record a specially written Peace Day song entitled One. That song featured in the TV series Coke Studio and played internationally around the world. We met much earlier in the year and, and you, you and I were discussing how could we potentially integrate this and through several different iterations I think we, we decided that the best way to do this is to do an African peace song featuring artists from the five countries where Coke Studio currently airs. I take the view in what we do in the show as being something that can transcend the individual differences between us. World Peace Day provides an opportunity for us to reflect more on the things that unite us than the things that divide us. Finally, on Peace Day, September 21st, 2015, Peace Day featured on the homepage of Google, seen by billions every day, and directly linked to a film on the Peace One Day YouTube channel, attracting half a million views in 24 hours. I think corporations have a brilliant opportunity to help with uh, Peace Day and also to benefit hugely from doing so. We did it with Innocent, a company that I helped start. And by being a vocal supporter of Peace One Day, it made my employees proud, it made my consumers engaged. It, it was great for business, as well as being great for peace. In essence, a relationship with Peace One Day will do two things. It will build trust and loyalty from your consumers and workforce. And you can't put a price on that. This is a bespoke opportunity that we build together to suit each other's goals. So let's make it happen. Let's make peace. <laughs>